detailer for eviction. Unlawful detainer is the uh, legal matter. Eviction is because matter that he has some English. But uh, in case, if you don't pay rent, doesn't matter one month or two months or a few days, doesn't matter who make the uh, owner, landowner is can make a decision. But uh, that's the processing is first. <clears throat> this first page is some on file for the court. But the first action, last page, almost the last page, the three day notice to pay rent or a kit, you put right down. And then almost ends on the full detainer. Next, the 30 day notice and then three day notice. First action is three day notice. Three day notice, they send the, to the uh, <coughs> tenant, three day notice to pay rent or quit. Meaning within three days you pay pass rent. If not, quit, quit, what's the quit? What do you need? <coughs> This is kit. So that's the uh, original legal action. He should pay, he should give that the three day notice to pay rent or a kit. Two tenants' name, tenant's name for hourly and address, and all other tenants at the same address. Same address in the all other tenants. You are hereby noticed that in accordance with the agreement under which you hold possession of the premise, premise meaning property, located at, I leave the address. There is now due and unpaid rent in the following amount for the following specific period. Following amount meaning, uh, for example, October 1st through October 30 for one month, $2,000. And November 1st to November 30, $2,000 and then December 1st, December 30, $2,000 and total balance due $6,000 and the full $2,000 months. So plus for the penalty, penalty normally are 10% every month, $6,000 plus the $600 penalty total amount $6,600. You are further noticed that within three days at the service of this notice on you, you must pay the amount of rent state above or surrender position. Surrender position meaning for the take amount of the premises, premises meaning for the uh, property. <laughs> Two, you taking the paper. Yeah, you take the paper. Hi, okay. If you fail to pay the rent or to surrender possession, of the premise uh -huh. within. Uh -huh. <laughs> premise within three days. The undersigned will commence legal proceeding against you to recover possession. Not the first page, almost the last page, three day notice. The first, you take that the three day notice taken. Premise 
a judgment for the amount of the rent and then you for your honor for the danger of the premise. You are further notifying that the undersigned has elected the two and hereby does declare the lease under which you hold the premises to be fully related for to be for elected if you fail to pay above rent within three days. Day to day. Lee sir, Lee sir, meaning for the uh, land road. Right side is Lee C, Lee C, meaning tenant. Attach the copy of the lease as exhibit A. Exhibit A is meaning copy, meaning for the lease paper. So three days, the lease with the three, uh, lease paper. Or just to this day, three day notice first. Three day notice first, they can, if within three days he didn't pay it any, they can apply for the uh, someone. If you don't have any books, paper, you're taking the paper. Almost the last page. Known as 
address. Notice this is hereby, even though within 30 days have the service of this notice on you, you are hereby required to quit the above described premises and deliver up the possession of the same to the leaser or a research against an agent if you specify below. That's the reason for why you should be out this house. The reason, just the two lines, that's all. You call every day so many persons coming this this paper, uh, the property. If not, even you if protect you agree that they just uh, you and then you leading to a person hit this place and then you be out. For the notice hereby given that said leaser hereby elect to terminate you are month to month tenant of the above described premises and that if within 30 days after service of this notice open you. If you have not quit the above described premises, premise meaning for the property, the undersigned will institute legal proceeding for an unoppositator against you to recover triple damages and the possession of the premise from you, date and sign person. Sign person meaning for the uh, land note. These two paper first, uh, remember, 30 day notice or 30 day notice. If not paying 30 day or 30 day notice, not paying this paper, receiving this paper, and after that, he can apply for the summon at the court. First page, summon at the court. At the court, with the three-day notice. If not three-day notice, he cannot file for summon at the court. Sure to remember three-day notice first. After that, he can file for the third, uh, the uh, Samon. Samon, citation judicial, unlawful detainer, eviction. Unlawful detainer, uh, the uh, eviction, same meaning. Notice to defendant, notice to defendant, defendant meaning for the, uh, uh, as the you. Your name as tenant. You he, you are being sued by plaintiff. Plaintiff is the owner. Do uh, the uh, landlord name. You should remember. You have five calendar days after this summon and the legal papers are served on you to build a written response at this court. Sure to remember, any, any summon, any lawsuit receiving after within 30 days, you should do answer, but uh, Unlawful detainer, this paper only within five calendar days. If you're receiving this paper after within five days, you didn't answer, you lost the case. Judgment is after five days. Any other document within 30 days receiving this paper, but three day notice is to remember, have a copy served on the plaintiff. 
to calculate to the calculate the five days. Sorry, they uh, this paper. Someone which after receiving within 30 days, answer is okay. But on the just the only this on the full detailer only this paper receiving within five days, not answer case is lost. On the full sure to remember on the full detailer only receiving this someone. Someone meaning for the uh, he lost against you in court. Someone within five days you should answer if not lost the case. If you answer this paper, court is the uh, send of the notice. Which date is court date you receiving uh, the? Uh, Wonderful detailer, someone. But uh, if you go to the court, you can say why I didn't pay. I didn't pay rent. Oh, so and so many calculate so many and something that the are too dirty. Something like that. I can pay. I request to the owner. day fall on a Saturday, Sunday, or a court holiday, then you have the next court day to file a written response. A letter or a phone call will not protect you. A letter or a phone call will not protect you. Your written response must be in proper legal form. Written expense, meaning written expense. Now, written answer response must be proper legal form if you want the court to hear your case. There may be a court form that you are, you can use for your response. You can file this code. the most at the California coast. If you are not paying within five days, five days, within five days, So within five days, getting the judgment. If you got the judgment, you should be out. Five days for the marshal come to your house. Okay, you be out. You last five days. Within five days, you should move. That's so fast. On the computer, in a day.
There may be a quote from that you can use for your response. You can find, find this quote form and more information at the California Quote Online Self-Help Center. And then, grab license, www.quote.info. of the court. For example, LA 111 North Hill Street, Los Angeles, California, <coughs> 90012. Los Angeles Superior Court. Number two, the name, address, and telephone number, plaintiff's attorney or plaintiff's without an attorney. With attorney or without attorney, doesn't matter. And then three, must be answered in all cases on unlawful detainer assistance with this professional code. Something. Next page, unlawful detainer assistant, assistant who? For the paralegal or any other person. They took right now. That's the first page. Second page, the third one is the uh, attorney or plaintiff, attorney or parties without attorney, name, state, file number, with the attorney. First one is attorney, attorney name, for example, how Lee and his address and then his telephone number, email address, attorney for something. Superior Court of California, County of Los Angeles. Street address, 111 North Hill Street. Mailing address, same, just a pass. City and the zip code, of Los Angeles, California. Zip code. Almost 90% is the didn't pay to the rent. He lost the we the landlord, plaintiff something, defendant something, and those one to twenty. One to twenty meaning in case I call for the uh, within twenty persons for the witness or I change the name. Complain so jump meaning complain meaning Complain on the full detailer. Complain. Amended complaint meaning for the if guy give that the complaint. After that, he found for the your name is the wrong spelling. Just you and your wife. You and your wife is leaving this address.
jurisdiction. Action is a limited civil case. Limited civil case meaning total amount is $10,000 less. That's not his amount to detain, demanded, does not exceed $10,000. Exceed over $10,000, but does not exceed $25,000. Under $25,000 is a limited case. Over $25,000 is unlimited cases. That's a different one is the filing fee at the court. Second line, action is an unlawful civil case. Unlawful civil case amount is an Next line, action is an unlawful civil case. Amount of demand exceeds $25,000. Yeah. And plaintiff, plaintiff meaning landlord, can uh, name each plaintiff whose name allows cause of action against defendant. Two, plaintiff is on individual over age of 18 years old. Normally, number one. Number two, public agency, other something, doesn't matter. Two, plaintiff is on individual over age of 18 years old. Or number five, corporation. This, this house is corporation in case. B, plaintiff has complied with the fictitious business name. Fictitious business name meaning for the company name, not personally. <coughs> and is doing business under the fictitious name of. Plaintiff has complied with the fictitious business name law and doing business under the fictitious name of company name you mean. Three, defendant name above the possession of the permits located at company name and address. Number four, plaintiff's interest in a permit. One more interest. of the premise located at address. Defendant address, normally uh, I leaving address, my leaving address, my address. And number four, plaintiff's interest in the premise as a owner. Plaintiff's interest, interest meaning right. Interest in the premise, premise meaning uh, the, uh, property number five the true name and capacity of defendant sued as those are known to plaintiff number six on or about this kind of the idea was that Plaintiff's interest in the premise is on, as an owner or other, other meaning for the manager. Number five, the true name and capacity of defendant sued as those are unknown to plaintiff. Number six, on or about. Yes, we 
notice in item 7a was served on the defendant name in the 7 as a follow by personally handing three day notice how you receive it by personally handing a copy of the defendant on date something like that a living copy with the name and description a person of a suitable aging if you don't have any house and then any other persons for your son your mom a person suitable age and discretion residence business something doesn't matter just make him next page the plaintiff demands possession from each defendant something like that number 10 at the time of three day notice to pay rent quit was served number 11 the fair rental value of the premise is how much per day if you pay for the for example two thousand dollars per rent that one is divided 30 days one day the seventy dollar sixty seven dollar something per day one day is put right down the the amount defendant continued the position is malicious and the plaintiffs in you should remember the lease lease for number one parties You go to the next room, everybody take them. Students should come before the professor. <laughs> what are you getting for the uh, old person not sleep at the night? Whole night I can't sleep. And then uh, this time you're sleeping. <laughs> Because winter, winter so yeah, sweet, huh? That's right. Also, <laughs> just too cold in this day. Yeah, it's too cold to sleep also. So. <sighs> this lease is made and enter into, enter into this first day of March, nineteen ninety seven, by and between. Ralph Sherfield, here in after Leonard, and Young Lee, here in after Tennant. Premise, premise meaning property, Leonard hereby leads to Tennant, and Tennant hereby leads from Leonard. On the terms and the condition here in after set forth, the 13 real property and building and other improvements located their own situation in the city of Gardena, state of California, commonly known as 2401 West Marine Avenue. Said real property is here in the code of the premise. Terms. The terms of this land or lease shall be for five years commencing on March 1st, 1997 and ending on February 28, 2002. Talent has a five-year option after the term of this lease. This lease, pe lease period is long. Some portion is good, some portion is bad. 
five years, five years, within five years, landlord don't request for the take out for this property. And one year, just to rent is of <coughs> four percent less, including. <coughs> but if not leave, uh, the uh, leave for the five years, just uh, two three years, tenant should pay the, the rest amount. That's not easy. That's the uh, just normally apartment is two year after two year and then also he can get an option tenant has a five year option after a term of this lease five and five he can get a ten years lease that's too long normally two years and also just option after after finishing the option he can leave this place without the paper. That's okay. Number four, rent. Tenant shall pay to landlord as a rent for the premise the sum of $650 per month. This is 20 years ago, $650. In advance on the first day of each and every month during the first three years during four and fifty years, tenant shall pay to landlord as rent for the premise the sum of seven hundred dollars per month. Rent shall be payable without notice to demand and without any deduction or abatement, uh, abatement in lawful money of the United States to the landlord at the address stated the hearing for notice or to such other person <coughs> or such other places as the landlord may designate to the tenant is writing. Tax, real property tax. Landlord shall pay all real property tax and the general assessment levied and assessed against the premises during the term of this lease. Normally taxes should pay landlord, not the tenant. B. Personal property tax. Tenant shall pay prior to the uh, delinquency at the ta all taxes assessed against and levied upon the trade picture during the term of this lease. Uh, fixture, furnishing, equipment, and other personal property of tenant contained in the premise. Utility. Tenant shall make all arrangements and pay for all water, gas, heat, right, light, paper, a power, telephone, and other utility service uh, supplied to the premise together with any taxes thereon and for all connection charges. And almost the same person, same situation, tenant shall pay all the uh, utility, but gas, heat, light, power, telephone, but normally water, water is not paying. You, you remember for the, you need not pay for the water to the apartment rent. You know that the white apartment talent is not paying the water. Water meter doesn't have any. Water meter is so expensive and the, Landlord is the, uh, for example, apartment is 20 tenants. He make 20 apartment meter so expensive, one for the $3,000 something, 20 water meters, $60,000, he cannot make them. And 
just keep paying water. Uh, any apartment, any rent not paying the water. Reason for water, they don't have any water meter in apartment, every house. Seven, alteration and addition. Tenant shall not, without the landlord's prior written content, make any alteration, improvement, or addition in order about the premise. They don't need it. Number eight, hold the helmets. Shall the tenant shall indemnity and the hold landlord. <clears throat> have this from against any and all claims arising from tenant use or occupancy of the premise or from the conduct of its business or from any activity, work, or things which may be permitted or uh, suffered by tenant in or about the premise, including all damage, costs, attorney fee, expenses and liability incurred in the defense of any claim or action or proceeding arising therefrom, except for landlord willful or grossly negligent conduct. Penalty hereby assumed all risk of damage to pro property or injury to pension, a person in or about the premise. Assignment and subliety. Penalty shall not voluntarily or by operating of law assign, transfer, sublet, mortgage, or otherwise transfer, or encumber all of any part of tenant interest in this lease or in the premise without tenant a landlord prior written content which shall not be unreasonable without default default meaning not paying the rent it is agreed between the parties here and there if any rent shall be due here under and unpaid, or if tenant shall differ and breach any other covenant or provision of the lease, then the landlord, after giving the proper notice required by law, and uh, may be rented. Uh, maybe enter the premise and remove any property and any and all persons therefore therefrom in the manner allowed by law. The landlord may at this option either maintain this lease in full force and effect and recover the rent and other charges as they become due or in the alternative terminate this lease. In addition, the landlord may recover all renter and any other damage and per, uh, pursue any other right and the remedies which the landlord may have against the tenant by reason of such default as provided by law. 11. Surrender. Surrender meaning for the uh, landlord to take out of the, his property. On the last day of the term of this lease, tenant shall surrender the premise to landlord in good condition, broom clean, ordinary wear and tear and damage by fire and the element exception. Should the cleaner, should the pay.
hold up, over, hold it over. If the tenant with landlord uh, consent maintain in private uh, possession of the premise at the expiration or termination of the term of this lease, such possession by tenant shall be deemed by to be tenants from month to month at a rental in the amount of the last month's rental plus all other charges payable here under and open all the provision of this lease applicable of such month to month tenancy. Next page, noise. Whenever under this lease the provisions in this is made for any demand, notice of declaration of any kind, it shall be the writing and the served either personally or sent by registered or certified United States mail posting prepaid address at the address at the first below then not then not the address tenant address such notice shall be deemed to be received within 48 hours from the third time of mailing if mailed as provided for in this paragraph 14 waivers no waivers by landlord of any provi provision hereof shall be deemed a waiver of these other provisions hereof or of any sus subsequent breach by tenant of the same and any other provisions. The parties here to hereof after this lease on the date first of our written landlord sign tenant sign this is lease paper in lease paper attach the lease paper and so on they should do file for the court in any other country but not paying for the rent just the landlord is you'll be out in the United States, they cannot, even they cannot pay, they didn't pay the rent. Then no, don't ask them, you'll be out. If the tenant, a uh, landlord is one some tenant to be out, should you file for the uh, unlawful detainer lawsuit? After that, the judgment, and then if the judgment marshal come to the uh, house final five day notice you'll be out after within five days you'll be out this is legally even landlord he didn't pay any rent he cannot say you'll be out you cannot sometimes it's a business then know this uh, the lock the door and then next day if he come he cannot pay the rent <coughs> owner is change the lock change the key that's the illegal you should remember if you don't pay rent if then know is lock the door you cannot, you move it, how you can do? Okay, I will ask them, if you don't pay rent, then no to say you'll be out, and then change the key, that's illegal. In case he changed the key, you'll be out, how you can do? Just a crime and then moving. That's illegal. United States 
everything is legally. If you don't pay rent, even two, three months if you don't pay rent, landlord cannot say you'll be out. That's illegal. Just a three day notice after the lawsuit, summon, and then marshal be out. At least they need a two, three months period. If they change the key, just you call 911. Telephone, just call 911. Hello, what's the matter? I didn't pay the rent. And then tenant changed the key. I cannot enter my house. And the police come within five minutes. Five minutes. And then he called the tenant, a uh, landlord. If you go to the jail or open the door, right away, open the door. Police say, final noise. Right away, you open the door. Uh, he didn't pay that the rent. Okay, if you, if he didn't pay, you file for the court and then court judgment after that you can any action you didn't pay the rent just a crime and then be out done and then three day notice i did 30 day notice combination of count i did if you leave if you are receiving for the summon, tenant, uh, landlord is filed for the summon within three day notice or something, you just answer this paper, just the two pages. You file for the answer. You file for the answer after one month. Call to action. After that, you be out. Uh, you going to the court? Why you didn't pay? After the uh, if I request for the uh, drop the water, tenant didn't repair that the uh, drop the water. Or if I request for the uh, too dirty, so many ants, so many animals is coming. I request and didn't do anything. And then court judge say, you should clean up and then you should do as a tenant. After that, after one month, you come again. The tenant is, should have, tenant has a power just to rent, didn't pay the rent, you'll be out. This is Chinese style. This is Korean style. You don't pay, out. No, United States, they cannot. Should have filed for the court action. And then court action, the judgment after that. Also, if you receiving for the three day notice, they should pay $2,000 or $4,000, but I don't have any money. And I have, I have $500 today. Today is $500. After one week, I'm gonna do the rest amount. Manager should be receiving. And then I cannot pay after one week. If small amount he receiving, Everything is changed. He should study new three day notice, new summon, everything. Talent knew a little bit the uh, law. You cannot be out. Mm -hmm. Talent should have power in my house. My house, my on uh, so strong power. Not paying the rent. 
not a big deal. <clears throat> if you're receiving there someone, not be out. Just answer this paper. UD-105 paper. This paper you file to the court. You can put right down the here and then file for the court. And after one month, after one month, court date. If you don't want to not go into the court at the court to file, doesn't matter, just so we, you can get the one month period. Paper put right down, attorney or party without attorney, the same thing. Uh, the uh, landlord is making for the uh, paper. Paper. Three pages. Landlord pay put right down here. The same thing. Your name first. Your address. And telephone number. A fax number. That's an option. If you don't have any fax, doesn't matter. Email it, address. Attorney for attorney for attorney who for whom the attorney attorney for just defendants. Defendant and your name, not all of them, just the last name only. Defendant Kim, that's all. Attorney for Defendant Kim, they put right down. And Superior Court of California, County of Los Angeles, or County of Orange. Street address, street address, the other party stands at the the uh, document at the same address. The other party uh, then all the send the someone that the same address. For example, LA 111 North Hill Street, Los Angeles, California 90012. French name Central District. Plaintiff. Plaintiff is landlord. Defendant, you. Answer unlawful detainer. Case number sure to write down. Case number same thing. The other party send it the uh, uh, someone. Case number put right here. Number one. Defendant each defendant for whom he this answer is filed must be named and must sign the answer unless his or her attorney signs. Defendant, defendant, you and your wife, you and your husband, or you and your brother, sister, all the name here. Answer the complaint as follows. Check only one of the next two pages, two, uh, next two box. Defendant generally deny. Defendant generally deny and statement of the complaint, but this one is cannot uh, mark. Do not check this box if the complaint demands more than $1,000. More than $1,000. Normally, any loss of over $1,000. And then you should mark B. Defendant admit that all the statements of the complaint are true except number one. Defendant claim the following statement of the complaint. The four are uh, first statement paragraph numbers from the complaint or explain below or form MC-025. Expiration of MC-025, that doesn't matter. Just to number two. Defendant has no information or belief that the following statement of the complaint are true. So, defendant 
deny them just a peak mark B. Number two is B mark. Number three, alternative defense note for each box check. You must state brief tag of effect to support in item 3K. Just number eight, non-payment of rent only, non-payment of rent. Plaintiff has breached the warranty to provide habitable premise. B. Defendant has made needed repair and the property deducted the cost from the rent and the plaintiff did not give proper credit. B. B is mark. Anybody, just the number three and B mark. C. Non-payment rent only. On date. Before the notice to pay or quit expire, defendant offered the rent due, but plaintiff would not accept. That's matter. Just number B mark. And on pass. Next page. Affirmative defense. Affirmative defense. Just pass. Number four, other statement is defendant vacate the premise on. Defendant vacate, I already move it in case number eight, but doesn't matter. Number B, the fair rental value of the premise alleged in the complaint in the excessive. Mark B. And then five. Defendant requested. Defendant requested meaning for I hope, I want, number eight, that plaintiff take nothing request in the complaint. That plaintiff, the other party, take nothing request in the complaint. B. Cost incurred in this proceeding. C. Reasonable attorney fee. If you don't file, I don't need the attorney. But if you file for the uh, bad list to this complaint, I hired the attorney. You should pay attorney fee. Reasonable attorney fee. D. That plaintiff is ordered to make repair and correct the condition that constitute a breach of the warrant to provide habitable premise and number two, reduce the monthly rent to reasonable rental value until the conditions are correct. That's the, uh, I request for the any condition. He didn't make the any condition and that's the reason for I didn't pay. E, other, specific below or on form MC025. All other requests to the state title as attached to 5E. Number six, number of page attached. If I have any evidence, if I have any picture or something, page attached. How many pages? And another detail of system doesn't matter, pass. Just to name. Each defendant for whom this answer is filed must be named in item one and must assign this item unless his or her attorney sign. My name and then right side side. The bottom, my wife or husband's name or sign. Verification. Use a different verification form if the Verification is by an attorney or the corporation or partnership. I am the defendant in this proceeding and have read this answer. I declare on the penalty of perjury under the laws of the state of California <coughs> and the foregoing is true and correct date. Page and the name. I sign on the right side.
this the salt. This painting is making and then the same place for the <clears throat> coat. One 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 also here's three. You go to a coat, just a number one or two. This paper is fine. The coat is accept. That's all. If you cannot go to the court, you can you can do the by mail. But uh, within five days by mail, and you for <coughs> you have the right if it doesn't matter. And then proof of the next page. Last page, the proof of service by mail. This one is attaching. You answer two pages and then attach proof of service by mail. The three pages so attaching. Introduction instruction after having the parties served by mail with the request calling, request to state. A uh, set case of trial on the detailer. Have the person who made the form UD150 complete this proof of service by mail. And then, next one. W number one. I am over the age 18 and not part of this case. Not part of this case. I am is part of this case. And then, I am resident of all employees in this county where mail took place. My resident or business address, somebody. I serve the request, counter request to case for trial on the detainer by enclosing a copy is on envelope address to each person whose name and address are shown below and number eight <clears throat> depositing the uh, sealed envelope in the United States mail just a white envelope on the date and the, at the place shown I can proceed with the postage fully prepaid postage fully paid prepaid meaning the one one paid one stamp for him B Place in the envelope of a collection and the mailing on the date and that the place shown in item 3C following ordinary business practice. I am readily familiar with this business practice for collection and proceeding correspondence. Something. No. Just the A. Date and mail. Two days mail. Just January 9. 2004. Place mail, place mail, of city and address, city and state, just Los Angeles, California. That's it. I declare on the penalty of perjury under the laws of the state of California that the foregoing is true and correct. Name and the right side the same, the, the uh, sign. And the bottom, the other party's address, name. Tenant name, landlord name, address, his address. That's all. Just a two, first a two pages, and then this page all attaching. Three pages, three pages put right down, and then coach, and the coach is upset. And what one month you can get it. Some period that's enough. That one sometimes, of course, you pay for the uh, rent or the uh, rent every month. In case your parents didn't send any money, in case. I the rent the sum did I didn't pay to the rent.
Thank you.